From your desk, sometimes it's hard to keep a clear picture of how your company's doing. And if it's struggling, you might not know it until the severance packages start showing up, if you're lucky. Here are the red flags to watch out for and some classic signs that show your company might be going under. Look around. Are there more executive level meetings than ever before? It's time to get worried if there's no explanation of what they're talking about. And it's even more worrisome if HR is attending. Look out for hiring and pay freezes, especially if top execs are taking pay cuts themselves. And if major customers start to leave, maybe you should start thinking about an exit. The company can't survive without revenue, and neither can you. There's some subtle signs too that you should also be watching out for. The playbook will start changing rapidly. A new vision, mission, strategy, tactics. These are all signs of frantic, high-level disagreement over the company's direction. Sort of how you start driving faster when you're lost. A brain drain. Star employees may start to exit. And while everyone wishes them well, no one at the top talks about filling their spots. Projects will be indefinitely postponed without explanation. This is typically a sign executives know there is no future. And if a consulting firm shows up, or an all-company meeting is called, I'm sorry, it's usually too late, it's over. So what do you do if these sound familiar? You have two options. One, get out as fast as you can and look for another job. Or two, you can wait it out. Do the best you can as the ship goes down. This allows you to say in your cover letters going forward, I lost my job as part of my company's bankruptcy or acquisition. This allows you to move on with dignity and candor. Look, either option is hard to do during a company collapsing around you. But if you know the signs, you can be the one who made the smart decisions first.